Hello, and welcome back to Tech It. Um, so, on the live stream, we improved my castle for Christmas. We've got the reactor pudding and the star and the lights. It's all very nice. Um, I was going to build the cannon this episode, but I think that can wait. Because now we've got force fields, because it's the latest version of Tech It now. Uh, there's a few differences. I haven't quite worked them all out yet. I think reactors are slightly different because mine crashed the server, so I have to delete it. So I'll get another, a new reactor up and running at some point. But um, force fields are the coolest thing. And I'm going to build what we need to build a force field. And that is a force field core. It's this one. So we need a frequency electrolyzer and some electrolyzed water cells, etc, etc. So first we need to get our electrolyzer. I've got a few built. I've built. I've been building a lot of um, bits and pieces just so I don't have to do it on camera. Because it takes ages. So I've got an electrolyzer here and that is um, just a basic machine really. Um, and I'm going to pop, pop him down in the machine room. Which, where's the machine room actually? Is that up? There we go. Just pop him there. Ah, there we go. Okay, is that is that electrolyzing? Looks like it is. It's taking its sweet time. Jesus. Okay, well I'll let that do its thing. While we get the rest of the pieces we need. Um so we need, for the core, we need uh, two circuits, a frequency transmitter, advanced alloy, and then we need a projector. Um, projector, oh here we go, um, MFFS area projector. Which is um, circuits and, and diamonds, there we go, so diamonds are plentiful. Circuits hopefully are good and frequency transmitters, a couple of them will do. So we need electrolyzed water still. Okay, so also we need um, for the force field we need an EU injector, which is what sends the power to it. We need to back box more electrolyzed water cells and some refined iron and copper cables. Um, Bat boxes are everywhere, there we go. Uh, copper cables, Christ, I don't know where they are. Um, wires, a bit wires anyway. Maybe some in here. <laughs> we'll just build some of them. Four. So, just four we needed. No, two, even. Even better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, rubber plus copper equals cables. Good. So let's go and check on the electrolyzing. Probably won't be done yet. No, it's done one. Okay. So I'm going to put a bunch of these in and uh, wait, I guess, uh, a while. So when that's done, I'll uh, resume. All right, 21. 21. Wow, that took ages. Christ, I'm going to leave. Just Yeah, 42, there's plenty. So that will uh, keep going while I'm away. Now we've... I think we've got most of the pieces we need. Now, of course, we don't have um, Crafting Bench 3 anymore. So I have to do everything by hand. Which is a bit of a bummer. Do I have an electro... Oh, I need to grab an electrolyzer. Bit two, just in case I can find out. I need another one. Halfway. Okay, so the recipe. Uh, advanced alloy, of course. There's something else I need, always is. Is there anything else I may need? This. I think that's it. Good. Phew. Okay, so. Alloy. Frequency, electrolyzer, circuits, and electrolyzed. Okay, alloy, electrolyzer, circuits, 
Water. Oh, what was the last thing? Oh yeah, transmitter. Force field core. Okay, next is the EU injector cable cable. Oh, iron 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 iron, literalizer and about box. That box. Cable cable. Iron, wasn't it? And then it was these? Yes. Force field EU injector. And finally, we need the uh, MFFS. Extender, deflector. Oh, there's a lot of cool things I don't know about. Um, this one is what I want to build for now, though. Diamonds, circuits, etc. Diamonds are forever. Wow, that's a mess. Um, circuit. Is this right? Yes! Hey. So we've got the core, we've got the EU injector. We've got the area projector. Um, now we need what is called a blank MFFS card. And for that we need paper. Let's make a bunch of that. Should be enough. And then we just surround a circuit. A blank MFFS card. Cool. Phew, now, using these bits we can make a force field. Um, I've got a, I've got a plan for this force field. I'm not going to make a big one. I'm going to make a small one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a nuke inside it. And I'm going to put it underneath <laughs> Rhythian's base. And I'm going to have the button. So... He can't get to this nuke. I can detonate it whenever I like. But he can't get near it. So basically I'll have the power to blow up his base. And I'm not going to blow up his base at all. I have no intention to. But I have the power to do it if he should attack me. <laughs> so hopefully it won't come to that. I'm going to grab an invert cell. I'm going to throw away these reeds. Combine those, throw away those nine diamonds. <laughs> um, I'm going to need a timer. Yep. I'm also going to need some wires. An invert cell, we have got that. I, I'm going to need a wireless receiver. Yep. Um, I think cause it's going to be a long way away. Transposer, let's get like four of them. Gonna need some uh, co energy collectors, so we can basically. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, power the force field using uh, et generators, and the generators will be fed coal from a collector. Uh, let's get a Mark III just in case, and a Mark III relay, and a condenser. Now, using this method, the force field will never run out of power plan. Let's head to Rivian's castle. I say castle. <laughs> I mean, this is a castle. This is like a fort. Okay. I think this is near him. Ah, there he is. Good. Right. I need to find room for this. Somewhere that he won't... I don't want to obscure him. I don't want to, like, you know... I don't want to be annoying in any way, really. All, all I want to do is have him know in the, the depths of his heart that there's nothing he can do to stop me. And that he should just give up on this whole war thing. Okay, there's a hole there. So if I go down here, um, this would be a fairly good place to put it, maybe. Go that should be enough room to give him space. Ah, this is like a perfect little space for it. I may 
have some mushroom casualties. We'll see. Let's just block up that lava. Bloody lava won't get blocked up. Come on. Go away. Okay, so let's set up the the system. So we've got the energy collector. Bam. We've then got a relay. I'm using his own magic against him. How ironic. And the relay is connected to the condenser. Now this should now... If I get the torch and put it above the... I think torches work. I hope they do. Otherwise I should have brought some glowstone. Um, if I put it there, will that give... Oh, here we go, light. So now this should make coal, if I put coal in here. Yep, pretty good. So that's infinite power for the generators. Now I need a transposer. I didn't bring a screwdriver, so I need to be careful with this, getting this right. Good view. <laughs> um, okay, then the transposer has pneumatic tubes coming out of it and pumping into the top of four generators. I kind of don't want to. This is a bit long. I want to make it more kind of compact so I can make the force field smaller. So we'll put the relay there and the collector there. Is it doing the same job? Good. <laughs> this is. I hope he doesn't come online when I'm doing this. I don't think he'll see me down here though. Um. Okay. Okay. Now this should, f after this one fills up, it should fill up the rest of them pretty, f pretty easily. Okay, so now we've got power. We can grab the power using the glass fiber. Put it into a bat box. Ooh, <laughs> gotta get this right. Now that should be filling up. Oh no, I was right actually. No, four. Um, there we go. Good. So that's filling up perfectly fine with the power. Uh, now we need to set up the modular force field system. So we need a EU injector connected to the bat box. Should be fine. And then we'll stick that on top of that. Lever on the side. Ah, it's getting power now. Okay, where's the car I built? Here. So we put that in here again. Let me move it to the top. Ah, there we go, it's getting power. The area projector. Ah, there we go, it's made, the force field's made. Now it hasn't covered everything, I don't think, unless it has. As you can see, I can't, I can't get out, I can't break this. It's completely indestructible. No way I can get even with the dark mats or red mat tools, even in creative mode. Can't get past. Completely foolproof. Amazing. Okay, so what is covered? Let's see. Let's uncover every. Okay, so that isn't covered. So we need to increase the radius, which means we put this up to six, maybe. And turn it on. It's a bit bigger. So this has got everything, even the timer. Let's just dig out everything around here. Let's hope we don't haven't hit anything belonging to Rivian. So I'm at the moment I'm completely stuck in here. Also, this is a cube. I could make it a sphere. Um, if I change this to sphere. Ow. Jerk. 
<laughs> been waiting to get in. So this is a sphere one. It's um, it's a bit weird. I think for our purposes, cube is fine. So we'll just dig out this whole area to see what we've got. Oh. Yep, right click. There we go. Uh, I'm making a bit of a mess around here. Bam. Let's just take this down a notch because it's a bit devastating at the moment. So this is quite a large area I've, I've built here, so, yeah, hmm. Damn. <laughs> so, and it, it goes all around, it, to, to the floor, you can't, you cannot get out. Basically, I'm stuck inside here, or, unless I turn it off. But nobody could get to me, there's nothing they could do, essentially. Um, which is cool. Now... Also, if a nuke went off in this force field, it would be contained by the force field, I think. At least that's my impression I get. Um, so if I want to detonate a nuke inside one, I have to turn it off first. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a circuit. When I turn on the nuke, it turns off the force field. Let's just quickly finish all this. Put the torch down. Hopefully this is still getting power. Um, yep, there's enough light in here, I guess. This is fine, this is enough room. I'll, as long as really you can see. Now, I may have made a bit of a balls up there, actually. Let's go and, have to go and fix this. The side. It's just a... Uh, Put this all back. I don't want him to. I don't want to break stuff. You know, I don't want to ruin his shit. I just want to make sure I'm safe. Okay. Okay. So this is. You know, he wasn't using this area. I've have killed a lot of mushrooms here, but I'm sure they uh, they'll grow back. I can even replant them. There we go. Cool. So here we go. Force field on. Force field off. And it will be powered indefinitely. Um, well, we've lost the, the pulse, actually. Good point. Four generators is um, enough. I mean, I think I'm pretty sure one could power this system. I'm just being extra, extra safe. Okay, so now we'll take off this and we'll work out a circuit. So let's get some stone, build him up next to the force field. Okay, now the nukes will go. I'm making three because I want it to be a big explosion. <laughs> um, so we'll have. Is this going to be covered by the force field? I think so. So just say we had a RS latch here. Oops. Here. Nope, that's not the RS latch. Other way. For God's sake. Okay. That's it, that's worked. I don't need the invert cell at all. Um, so, what, essentially what the RS latch does is when it gets a signal, it um, inv switches. I'll show you. <laughs> so, I've got the remote here. Let's set the remote to one, oh, I know, 1330. Seven. We'll use that on there. So when I use this, it will turn this signal on, flip the RS latch, and turn the force field off. Force field off. Bam. There we go. And you click it again. Can't can't break it. So you, it's basically burnt out now. I have to replace it. But 
I only need to use it once, so it's not a problem. Now, what this means is, when I press this button, it will power this cable, and it will turn off the force field forever. So if I put nukes, for example, here, here, and here, when I press the button, it will turn on the nukes, detonating them, flip this, turn the force field off, and boom. Boom. Big boom. Three nukes boom. This whole area is a crater, essentially. So that's what I'm going to set up. Let's just check everything's in order, because once I've done this, I cannot go back. Once I leave this force field, that is it. That is it. Now, how do I get out after I set this up? Okay, I'm back and I've got a plan. And my plan is teleporters. Because I can't think of another way. And I know there must be another way that I'm missing because I'm an idiot. But this is a, a cool way. And I've been all the way back to my base to get them. So it better bloody work. Um, <laughs> so we need to grab a MFE that I picked up. And a teleporter next to it. Oh, this time we're going to interfere with that. Move the timer just in case. I didn't have a wrench with me, so I can't pick the teleport back up. Oh, I really need to stop doing that. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. It's okay, though. I have to get used to these tools now. I really do, because they're deadly. I've destroyed like half my shit using these tools already. <laughs> Good. Um, wire. And the timer. Okay. Is this MFE filling up? Not bad. Lever next to it. Next to the teleporter. There we go. Nope. Maybe. Just to be. Oh, sh oh shit. Oh shit. Look who it is. Okay, this we need to get this done quickly. Teleport here. Let's link the two up. Frequency transmitter. Link established. Okay. I'm going to test this before I, before I do this properly. Not enough power, maybe? Let's just delete some of this stuff. Ooh, it's getting tense. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, phew. That was scary. <laughs> Let's try again. No. Come on. Ah, there we go. It worked. Good. But then all I got to do is destroy this teleporter, and all is good. Turn that lever off. Um, that's like nearly all the MFEs. We need to wait for it to recharge again. And then uh, we're, we're cosy. Just. Oh god, this is terrifying. Okay. Latch. Does the nuke get. Ev uh, does the force field get everything? Yes, it does. Is it all set up? Is the condenser still making coal? Yes, it is. Are these filling up nicely? Yes, they are. They're never going to run out. This one. Not on fire. Oh, it's different. Is it? No, oh, it's a different way around. It's fine. This is filling up nicely. Rhythian's back. Oh, God. This is working. Frequency. Yes, it's all in place. Now we put the nukes down. We put the nukes down. I'm just, <laughs> just, I'm just terrified. One, two, Three. They're down. That's it. There's no going back now. And we need to leave. Not yet. It's not ready yet. Need more power. <laughs> mm hmm. Ah! There we go. 
Oh my god, I'm out. I am out. Now we've got to do is break this. Delete frequency transmitter. That's it. It's set up. That that is it. There's no way to get back in there now. Not even I can get back in. The only way to turn off that force field is this remote, and that remote also detonates the nukes. So, not even even if Rhythian holds me at gunpoint, there's nothing I can do. Amazing. Wow. Okay, well, there we go. That should be the end of the Cold War. <laughs> well then, until next time. Bye.